I am back with a favorites video. This is like a shameless plug. Absolutely no shame because they are the dun 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 dun. It's Judy time makeup bags. I partnered with Walgreens and created a makeup bag collection exclusive to Walgreens. This has been something that I've been working on for over a year. It started back in November of 2016, so it's been a while. This one is the marble design and it has a gold foil. These are some of my favorite colors, the royal blues and purples and gold. I fit so much of my toiletries in here. Every time I travel, I have to bring this bag. It says it's Judy time. One of my favorite designs, this is what I call the Sampaguita bag. Sampaguita is a national flower of the Philippines. I love this material too because if you spill something, you could easily wipe it off. This was inspired by my Filipino roots. I remember getting out of church and there would be little kids selling the Sampaguita necklaces. What are you doing? I'm filming my favorites video. Okay. Oh my God. That's another one of my favorites, but that's a forever favorite. I am doing a giveaway right now on It's Judy Time Instagram. If you wanna win this entire collection, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Anyway, you open it up, you have a little brush holder in here, and I made sure that the slits are large. There have been a few makeup bags that I owned in the past where some of my brushes don't even fit, like this huge one. Fit right in there, and then you could add multiple brushes, and then there's another little pocket in here. In the other pocket, you can fit whatever makeup or palettes in here. Let's just fill this up with a bunch of palettes. It's Judy time. And there's still lots of room, even with three huge palettes in there. You can find these bags online at walgreens.com. And if you spend, I believe, over $35, then they ship it to your house for free. US only, I'm so sorry, these are only available in the US. Or you can find these at your local Walgreens store, but I suggest check online first in the store locator because it may be sold out. I know that these sold out pretty quick in store. So the next design, I call this the Manila Pink. Again, inspired by my Filipino roots. When you go to some of the Philippine culture stores, a lot of the traditional handbags are made out of straw. So I had to have straw in this collection. And this I call Manila Pink. Again, you can fit so much in this bag. It may not look as big at first, but you can fit a crap load of stuff in here. <laughs> this one is Juliana's personal favorite because this is where she puts her little, littlest pet shop toys in. She organizes it in here. This is called the Weekender. They have the removable pouches, which are perfect for travel. You know how in TSA, they're very strict about putting your three ounce liquids in a Ziploc bag? So that's what I do with these. I could put all my creams and liquids in here. Is this under three ounces? Anyway, besides it being in your weekend bag, you can use it for that. And then it has another huge compartment where you can actually fit full size shampoo or anything. Oh, I wonder if you could fit those giant makeup palettes in here. If you're a makeup lover, I know you have these palettes, right? Like the Coastal Scents, BH Cosmetics Morphe. It fits perfectly inside. You can use this as a makeup bag, a toiletry bag. I was asking on Instagram, what would you put in these bags, even if it's non-makeup? And somebody said chicken nuggets. And I was like, yes, girl. <laughs> All right, and the last design is another one of my favorite designs. This style is evergreen. I feel like this will never go out of style. It's classic, it's clean, and I think it's pretty chic as well. I know in some photos it looks black, but it's actually navy blue. And of course I had to add gold. Gold and navy blue, it goes so well together. So I'm gonna start off with this one. This is a perfect on-the-go pouch where you can put your lipsticks, eyeliners, your makeup essentials for the day. It carries a lot. Again, it's a little deceiving at first because it looks so tiny, but you have three compartments. It has a little hidden compartment in the very middle where you can keep cards or even like blotting sheets. This is very handy if you're one that's prone to switching purses or bags often. Okay, so this is what it looks like with products inside. I better not get this dirty because this one I'm giving away. And the last one is the one that I've used the most and I've used this for so long. I'm always traveling with this. This is the, what's this called? This is called the train case. I have so much in here and I still have room to add even more, which is ridiculous, it's so heavy. <laughs> so this has two compartments. And the top, I have my brushes. And again, I made sure that the slits were large enough to fit my large brushes. This also detaches. But of course I have 
have a corkscrew so you can fit palettes in here. This in itself is a pretty big compartment. You could fit full-size palettes in here. I have the It's Judy Time palette, of course, which is not available at Target anymore. I'm so sad, but it had a good one-year run, the It's Judy Time and Pixie palette. The main pocket, look how much I fit. I even put more palettes in here. These are the products I reach for the most. At the moment, you cannot tell, but there are two pouches in the very front, and this is typically where I keep my tweezers, because those are the ones that I use every single day. You know, like, tweezers are so tiny. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. I keep my small items in these pockets. I also have this little sewing kit, which is genius. It already has a thread in the needle. Girlfriend, tell me that's not the best invention ever. I typically put my lash glue in here, but I think I used it somewhere. So yeah, that's it for my makeup bags. All of the makeup bags shown are under $30. It's a really great deal for the quality that you're getting. And hopefully you guys will enjoy these bags. I'm really happy with them. My foot is numb. I was sitting on it for so long. So moving on. This one is another favorite of mine. And I've only used it once, but I love it so much because of how easy it is, how simple it is to use. Swarsh, swarsh cough. This is a semi-permanent mousse color. My hairstylist, Cindy, sent this to me, which by the way, if you're in the Seattle area and you're looking for a hairstylist, check out Cindy. In the beginning of the year, I was like craving a big change. And I told her, I want Mariah Carey hair, J-Lo hair. It's not blonde, but it's not brown. It's called bronze. And she gave it to me and it was the best. I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. And then it started to become high maintenance for me. So I was like, no, Cindy, I need to go back, not quite to black, but I needed to go dark. So she toned my hair and then it was like a dark brown. And I told her eventually I'd want to go darker. So that's when she introduced this to me and she gave me three bottles. I just like, it was quick and easy and I could do it from home. So yeah, I'm really grateful she gave me this. So next is from Skin Ink. This is a supplement bar. It's called the Oxy Recharge Bubble Mask. And I've been on their PR list for quite a while. I think it's been a year already. And I tried their stuff. I thought it's pretty good. But this one blew my mind. You know those bubble masks became a thing within this past year. I've tried one in the past and I hated it because I felt like it was just extra work that wasn't needed. I actually like that it didn't create a thick layer of bubbles. It was just like tiny little bubbles everywhere. Like it wasn't just for show. I feel like some of the other masks, it's more for show like more of the gimmick, the bubble gimmick. And then once you massage it into your skin, you can see these little, like your dead skin actually peeling off. At first I saw it, I'm all, there's no way this is my dead skin. So I did it again and then I had less dead skin. Sold. I've only used it twice, but I'm already sold. It's a favorite. Next is what I have on my lips today. This is the Pillow Plump. I actually have a concoction. I have the Pillow Plump from Soap and Glory. And the Sephora Lip Plumper, this is in outrageous but I love how it gives you that tingle sensation I'm really into that and the tingle lasts a long time usually it'll last like you know two minutes this legit last 30 40 minutes <laughs> I liked it so much that I actually bought a clear gloss as well it does peel my lips at the end of the day I notice that it does kind of peel my lips uh, but I like to think of it as kind of like an exfoliation whatever anyways I love the tingle and that's why it's one of my favorites and my last favorite is the L'Oreal Lumi Shimmerisa this is in shade sunlight and I typically do not like loose powders because I feel like it's so high maintenance and I'm more prone to spilling which I still do I do spill a little bit of this but the, sh the glow is so beautiful it has so much product I don't even know what's the point of having a sifter in here because it never works I just use a product that's on the cap because that's already a lot glow is gorgeous. It's not overwhelming. I feel like it doesn't take over the makeup. So that's it for my current faves. Don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoyed watching favorite videos. Check out my other channels. It's Judy's Life where I vlog almost every day with my family and it's Mommy's Life where I vlog mommy related things and cute videos with my kids. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later.